guys, it's Jen. I'm back with another cooking video for you guys. I know it's been a while since I've done one, so I'm going to do this video for you guys. Um, so I'm making Fruity Pebble Breakfast Muffins. It's a recipe I found online. It's by uh, Krista Heffer, I believe, is the author of this recipe. And it's a really good one. So I've already started doing this, so I'm going to show you what I did first. The first thing I did was put my two cups of old-fashioned oats and two cups of milk in this bowl, stir it, and then set my timer for 20 minutes. It's 15 to 20 minutes, but I always do 20, and let it set. While that's happening, then I fill, I turn on my oven to 400 degrees, and I get my muffin lined, my muffin tins lined with the liners. I use double because I found that out in a, um, those Hannah Swenson books that we were reading. She always did that, and I'm finding that it makes it easier to make the muffins come out of the pan when they come out, um, like out of the wrapper. Um, so we have two cups of flour going into the another bowl while I'm waiting on that. And I'm going to um, close up my flour and get it out of my way. Okay. We have about 13 minutes left on that. Okay, now I need to also add into the flour, I need to put baking soda, baking powder, salt, and cinnamon. So on the baking powder, we're going to put two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm double checking that baking powder. So the baking powder. I'm going to put two teaspoons. Okay. Okay. And we're going to set that out of the way. And then baking soda, we're going to put one teaspoon. So there's my baking soda. One teaspoon. Yeah, still good. Still not small. Okay. Um, and then we're going to add in two teaspoons of cinnamon and one teaspoon of salt. So we're going to do the salt next because that's what's technically list is next. So one teaspoon of salt. And I make these every once in a while. And this makes me about four to five days of breakfast for mom and I. And we absolutely love this recipe. Um, I didn't at first. I thought I wasn't going to like it. The first time I had it, I was like, mm, I don't know. And now I just absolutely love this recipe. So um, after they cool, they're better when they cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them up. And then I'm going to, after I bake them, I'm going to take off for a little bit because I have to run an errand to go see Mindy. Um, and then when I get back, I'll eat so they'll be cool enough by then. So I'm just going to whisk this together. So I whisk those ingredients together. And I will leave the link to the, uh, the page I found this on um, down below. Okay. Now... After you get that done, the next thing is to um, to add into the brown, to the other, to the oatmeal mixture. But since I can't do that yet, what we're going to do is we're going to pre-measure the stuff and get it going because I can put the bowls in my dishwasher as well. So I'm going to take another little bowl because I'm going to get going because I want to be able to make this up as quickly as possible because it's getting later in the morning for me. Um, so now we're going to add brown sugar. So I'm going to take one cup of packed brown sugar. So this is like one of my favorite breakfasts and I've had, I don't know if I shared the pecan one yet. Pecan one is another one. So one cup of packed brown sugar. Okay, that's going in there. And then we're going to add um, eggs to this mixture and mix that up. I'm going to use the one that I did my milk in to do the eggs in. So it takes two eggs. So I'll mix the eggs and the brown sugar up together and then we'll um, that way we can get another item off. Ready to go. And I have what I call a garbage bowl. It's a container I got from the dollar store a couple years ago. And it's actually a strainer, and I use this for everything. 
and every once in a while I clean it and definitely needs cleaned again. But this way I can throw my eggshells or whatever in it out of the way, kind of like Rachel Ray does on her show, um, and not have to worry about it right away. You know, I can get through the recipe and then I can go and dump that in the thing. And it's so handy. And also, when we do my tea pitcher, when I make up iced tea, which I need to do today, um, I just kind of, so I'm just going to kind of mix these two together so that we can add them to the mixture when that's done in about eight minutes here. Anyway, um, so what I do is I, um, put my tea topper in there the, the has the tea bags in that and let it sit for cool off in that um, or at the very least if I'm got, getting ready to load the dishwasher to run it which it's running right now guys um, if I'm going to be running it I will go ahead and um, put the tea topper in but I'll put the filter with the tea bags into my container so it kind of this comes in handy for a lot of little things and every time we make hot tea we put the tea bag in If you guys have any muffin recipes that are your favorites, please share them down below because I'm always looking for good muffins, that, especially if they can make a few um, in a, together because I love muffins and I love having leftovers for the next day. I'm going to take this container and put some oil in it. I'm going to put in, uh, let's see, how much oil do we need? One cup of oil. And I used vegetable oil, but it says you can use coconut oil. Also, you can use whole wheat flour, but I use the all-purpose flour. Um, and then I don't use buttermilk. I use regular 2% milk, and it works just fine. So that's a few things, things that I do different. Okay, and then with this um, oil, I'm going to put in my vanilla, which is one teaspoon. So then everything is set to go other than one thing, and we're getting ready to do that thing real quick. Okay. So I'm going to put the vanilla away. Okay. So I'm going to set this back here out of the way. I'm going to set this back here out of the way. And now we're going to go to this. So this cup here, which is my two cups, I'm going to put one and a fourth cups of um, dirty pebbles in. You could use generic. I haven't yet. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, well, I put two cups, but I'll need one and a fourth for this, and then we'll put the rest on top, because it's supposed to be on the top. You're supposed to coat it. So, I'm going to take my brown sugar cup and make that one cup, or three-fourths a cup. about right so there's about one a fourth cup so everything is now set this is what we'll use on top of our muffins <clears throat> now it's just a matter of waiting about four minutes and then mixing things together so when the form timer goes off on my microwave I will stir my oats up um, once the oats are mixed up I will add the brown sugar and egg mixture in and then the vanilla and oil and then we'll mix in the flour and then we'll fold in the fruity pebbles and then we pour it into the pans and we sprinkle the top with each of the, with some of the fruity pebbles and then we bake them for 18 to 20 minutes or until they're cooked um, toothpick goes in comes up clean you let them cool five to ten minutes on the pan or, and then let them completely cool um, and then you, they keep for up to one week um, we usually have them gone in about four or five days they are wonderful so they can also be frozen so I will definitely put the link down below for you guys on that and I will be back in a couple minutes okay back guys so now this has had the 20 minutes it's actually had a little longer than 20 minutes because I had to help mom in the bathroom okay we're going to take our cup of brown sugar and our two eggs and we're going to add that mixture into this mixture Normally I do it right into the bowl, but I was kind of wanting to get everything done because it's getting later in the morning. As I said, it's already 9:45, and I, so I need to 
get these made because then I have to run an errand before I can eat. So I want to get there and back before it gets in much later. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm going to stir this up. So I'm just stirring this all together. The oats, the milk, and the sugar, and the um, eggs that have been put in here. Okay, now we're going to add in the one cup of oil and the one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And let's put that in. Then I'm going to grab my bowl of uh, dry ingredients and we're going to add this to the mixture. And then after I get that kind of stirred in, I will add the fruity pebbles. I usually do this like um, like on a Monday most of the time and then most of the week I have breakfast. And especially if I have like a Monday that we don't have appointments and then like the rest of the week we have appointments. This is one of my favorite ones because then when we get home from the appointments and I just dumped in my fruity pebbles and I fold them in here gently. Um, so when we get home from the appointments, we have breakfast. And all I like to do is make up a cup of tea for mom and a glass and something for myself to drink. And then breakfast is ready. So it's really, really handy. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like now. And now we're going to take and get the muffin tins and we're going to fill them. And then after I get them filled, I'm going to put in a little bit of fruity pebbles on top. That's what this part is for. And then we're ready to bake. So. Um, but yeah, share some of your favorite breakfast recipes with me because I am always looking for a good breakfast. Um, breakfast is one of my hardest times to come up with something that really sounds good. And I'm making a mess. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to move you back out of my way a little bit. i got to clean up a little bit of a mess here. Okay, I'll show you this part when I get this part done. I'm going to pause. Okay, so I got them all in the pans. I ended up with uh, 24 plus 6 of 32. Okay, 24 plus 6, yeah. No, 30. 24 plus 6 is 30. I can do math. I just can't do it very fast. Okay? And now I'm just topping them with a little bit of the pebble cereal. Um, so that's good. And then they'll be ready to go in the oven here in a minute. And once we get them in the oven, they bake for about 18 minutes in my oven um, at 400 degrees. So now I got that done. I'm going to put them in my oven. Um, and then they bake, like I said, for 18 minutes at 400 um, in my oven that it works. And I'm able to put all three plant pans in because I put the one large one on the top to the back. I put the small one in front of it. It's my six pan. And I have that up on um, the second notch out of four in my oven so that I can fit my other one on the bottom. And now I'm going to set the timer for 18 minutes. I will check them. And then after I check them, um, I will take them out if they're done. If not, I'll give them a couple more minutes. And then let them cool while they're cooling. I'm going to run an errand. And then I'll come back and have my breakfast. Okay, so here they are. And this has been after 18 minutes. 
I'm getting ready to test them. So, and it's coming out clean. I always check all of mine because I have some issues in the past where some of my muffins will get cooked and some don't. And it happened the other day because I don't always do even on how I cook them. Um, or like to put them into the thing so they're coming out clean. Okay, so this pan can come out. And you're supposed to cook them for five minutes in the pan and then take them out and set them on a wire rack. I just leave them in the pan until they're all the way till evening and then I put them away in Ziploc bags because they're cool. And that's how I keep mine. They're good after a few minutes out of the oven, but they're even better if you let them cool completely. So they are all done. There is my done muffins. They are so good. So, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this muffin. I will share um, the pictures and um, I can tell you we really do love this muffin. We've had them a ton of times. But I'll try to share a picture of them for you guys to enjoy. Okay, until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day filled with lots of love and laughter. I hope your saddest day in the future is only sad as your happiest day in the past, but if it's not, I hope that you have the strength to endure. We'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.